In this video, we deep dive into the global economic landscape at the end of 2023. How are the United States, Europe, and China faring in these turbulent times? Are there signs of resilience or warning signals we should be aware of? Let's explore the latest data and trends to unravel these economic mysteries. Let's start with the United States. Did you know that the U.S. economy has been performing better than expected this year? In fact, a recession seems to be off the table, with real GDP expanding at an estimated 0.02 to 0.4% annualized pace in the first half. The Federal Reserve's aggressive rate hikes are coming to an end, marking one of the steepest hiking cycles in four decades. But what about inflation? It's gradually improving, although still elevated in many areas. In the labor market, there might be some cooling, but conditions remain healthy. Consumer tailwinds are fading, yet household balance sheets appear solid. Additionally, supply chain bottlenecks have largely been resolved, and the housing market is stabilizing. However, not everything is rosy. The U.S. has lost its AAA status with Fitch due to debt ceiling issues, and there are challenges in the commercial real estate sector. Moving over to Europe, after two years of robust post-pandemic expansion, the EU economy has lost momentum. Real GDP contracted mildly in the last quarter of 2022 and barely grew in the first three quarters of 2023. The forecast for 2023 stands at just 0.6% growth in both the EU and the euro area, lower than previous projections. However, there's hope for recovery. GDP growth is forecast to improve to 1.3% in 2024 in the EU and 1.2% in the euro area. But what's driving the slowdown? Weakness in consumption and global trade has been significant factors. The European Central Bank's interest rate hikes and the declining bank lending are also impacting the economy. Nevertheless, there's optimism for investment spending. With corporate balance sheets remaining strong and infrastructure investment growing, wages are increasing and inflation is expected to slow, which should boost household purchasing power in the coming years. The EU labor market has been strong, but there are signs of some cooling. Inflation in the EU and the euro area has been declining sharply, with a significant fall in consumer energy prices throughout the year. External demand has been weak, but there are expectations of a rebound in global growth, which could positively impact the EU's exports. Finally, let's explore China's economic landscape. China's GDP growth has been a mix of disappointments and resilience. The National Bureau of Statistics reported a 5.5% year-on-year growth in the first half of 2023, the fastest among major economies. However, financial institutions have lowered their GDP growth predictions for the remainder of the year. A significant reason for the slowdown is low consumer demand and confidence. Stemming from a poorly performing property sector and the impact of severe pandemic controls, the manufacturing sector saw an initial spike in PMI earlier in the year due to the lifting of COVID-19 controls, but it has since faced challenges due to low global and domestic demand. The services sector also experienced growth initially but has slowed down since March. Exports and imports have been declining, largely due to weak foreign demand in a struggling property sector. Though there were signs of stabilization in August, a critical concern is the record high youth unemployment rate, which rose to 21.3% in June 2023, posing a risk to domestic consumption growth and potentially leading to societal unrest. The real estate sector, a significant contributor to the national GDP, is in a downturn, with new house prices falling sharply. Despite these challenges, retail sales have shown resilience in some sectors, with online retail sales and catering revenue growing significantly. Overall, the Chinese economy in 2023 presents a complex picture with moments of resilience against a backdrop of challenge and trend. Despite these challenges, the Chinese economy in 2023 presents a complex picture with moments of resilience against a backdrop of challenging trends like youth unemployment and a wobbly property market. While GDP growth has been adjusted downward, China still remains the fastest growing among the major economies. However, concerns around inflation, faltering consumer confidence, and an unsettled real estate sector highlight the underlying vulnerabilities in the Chinese economy. Before we conclude, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the current economic trends in the US, Europe, and China? Do you think these trends will continue into 2024? How do you believe these economic changes will impact your local economy or personal finances? Share your insights and predictions in the comments below. Your perspective is invaluable to us. And if you have any specific topics or questions you'd like us to explore in future videos, don't hesitate to let us know. Remember, 
your engagement helps us create content that is most relevant and informative for you. So, don't be shy, drop us a comment. As we wrap up our global economic overview, it's clear that each of these economic giants, the US, Europe, and China, are navigating their unique paths through the complexities of the post-pandemic world. The US is showing signs of resilience amid challenges, Europe is cautiously optimistic about recovery, and China, despite its growth, is confronting significant internal challenges. Stay tuned as we continue to track these dynamic economies and bring you the latest insights. Curious to compare the economic dynamics of China and Germany? Check out our detailed analysis in the video popping up on your screen now. Dive into this fascinating economic comparison to get a clearer picture of how these two powerful economies stack up against each other.